Welcome again to the Screw It Yourselfer. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the brakes, and specifically the uh, drum brake to disc brake uh, conversion kit that comes from EMPI for the VW Beetle, which of course this Bradley is. Uh, let me start you know, off here with the front disc brakes, or the front disc changeover kit. I'm going to show you the driver's side, which is taken apart. Of course you get, you know, there's a caliper. You get a disc, and you get some hardware. And you get a spindle. Note how many mount holes there are. There are four right here. Your backing plate is going to mount to this. Actually, your, ba your backing plate's going to mount to that hole and that hole right there. Three holes. And then your caliper is going to mount to that. Now, when you get this kit from, from EMPI, and the instructions... Let me see if I can find those. Where'd they go? The instructions for this little sheet they give you says something to the effect that... Uh, uh, I'm going to pack the bearings, grease the bearings. Okay plastic separator where to go where to go bearings caliper also my man my manual had this thing right here not installed on my car uh, the upper torsion arm I ended up uh, 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 relieving the pressure on it just by using a scissor jack put it in between the upper and lower arm Took the pressure off, was able to take the spindle assembly out, spindle arm, work like a champ. So, uh, there's a problem, 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 uh, uh, put the bearing races, when you, if you put, when you swap the bearing races over, if you put brand new bearings in, make sure the bearing races are seated all the way. Uh, if you don't seat these bearing races all the way, of course it's not going to run right. But also, uh, your your cap nut there is not going to. You're not going to be able to torque it down far enough to be able to get the grease cap on the dust cap. And I'll show you how I got the outer bearing to, be, to get seated into the into the disc. And this works really, really well. I took my ball peen hammer here. And look, it's a perfect fit. And I took my other hammer and just beat on it until it's seated. The other side, however, is a little bit bigger. So, got a 35 millimeter socket. And it seemed to work. It fits right down in there. Smack it until it seats. Stick your thumbnail underneath the race. If you can't get your thumbnail in, it's seated all the way. And then, you know, you put the bearing in, slide it on. I was trying to find something that was wrong. It doesn't mention, it does not mention the backing plate, which is this thing right here. I, I guess it's optional. I'm putting it on anyway. Um, got the new rotor and the spindle and the thrust washer. I guess that's it. That is what's wrong with that. Okay, a uh, couple of special tools you need. You really are really going to want some air tools because there's a lot of torque on some of these things. You're going to want a ball, uh, a ball joint separator, pickle fork, whatever you call it. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that's wrong with these instructions. Now, it says on here. It says on here uh, you want to mount the caliper bracket. Well, uh, the, the, there is no caliper bracket. There's a caliper bracket for the rear, but there's not a caliper bracket for the front assembly. And I'll show you why that is. Okay. Here is the stock spindle. You got, here's 
arm and then you got the three mounting holes for your for your back plate for the drum assembly and all that stuff right there that's what that looks like number two this one right here that's the caliper bracket it's part of the spindle now the instructions tell you that changing this changing the spindle out is optional it is not optional because you will not be able to mount the caliper unless you put this in so get in uh, if you do this get ready to huff and puff and beat on things don't beat on the threads you know use your pullers you know use some torque uh, uh, some some pressure devices now uh, next video now, I've already done the rear brakes but the next video I'm gonna be bleeding uh, the brake system and at that time I will show you the rear brakes and uh, I guess I'll take you through my procedure for bleeding the system down bleeding the air out of the system so uh, starting to get dark but I'm gonna finish these front brakes up before I go to bed so uh, you know until then, uh, get some work done and try not to screw it up.